651 time for the morning sprint. First up an alert day in the forecast and it will impact your commute. Chris Reese has the first warn. Hi Chris. Yeah doing so already at least two crashes been reported. That being said your morning commute you're going to see that snow starting. It's continuing throughout your lunchtime and we'll still see light snow even into this evening as well. Snow covered roads likely do begin to develop especially after 8 o'clock. We'll likely see that heaviest snow anywhere between late morning and early afternoon before it starts to lighten up just a little bit again towards the evening. So not just your morning commute, but your evening commute. You're going to be dealing with the snowflakes. Here's what I need you to do. Slow down. Take it slow. That's how we're going to get everywhere safely today. Wipers are going to be needed as well. Keep those headlights on. Josh Breider has been live all morning long on Madison Roadways. Josh, what are you seeing? Hey Chris, we are on the westbound belt line right now going over Mineral Point as we speak. You can see that snow on the side of the roadways as we just went over that overpass. That is what we're seeing so far. No major issues other than a couple of crashes on Madison West side within the last 15 minutes or so. That's where we are headed right now. Again, we are starting to see a little bit of impact out there as far as your commute goes this morning. So keep that in mind. Things are not too bad right now, but we do expect things to change as they deteriorate. We'll have live updates throughout CBS mornings coming up. Josh, thank you very much. All 32 Madison plows will be out on the roads today covering 800 miles of traffic lanes across the city. Once the snow starts to stick, they will only plow your neighborhood if we get more than three inches of snow. So keep that in mind. Today is also the start of Madison's alternate side parking season. So if there are more than three inches on the ground, you'll have to park on the odd side of the street the first night, then switch to even the second night. Stay up to date with the first accumulating snow of the season through our first worn weather app, weather and road conditions right in your palm. Just search Channel 3000 Weather to find it in your app store. This morning, the city of Madison will honor those killed in car crashes over the last five years. The Memorial Downtown is part of a worldwide day of remembrance for road traffic victims. In Madison, 57 people have died over the last five years in traffic crashes. A news conference will take place outside of the Madison Municipal Building this morning at 1030. The city will use it to tout its Vision Zero, a campaign to lower speed limits around town to help drop the number of traffic deaths. Police are investigating the deaths of four University of Idaho students as a, quote, crime of passion. Officers say there isn't an active threat to the community. They aren't giving out much information right now. Police say that's so they don't jeopardize the investigation. Investigators are recommending criminal charges for two teenagers in connection with that bonfire explosion that happened at a party last month that injured several. The Shano County Sheriff's Office now asking prosecutors to charge a 17-year-old from Green Bay with second-degree reckless injury and a 16-year-old from Pulaski could face the same charges in juvenile court. Officials say as many as 40 people may have been hurt when a drum filled with gas and diesel fuel was tossed onto the fire and exploded. Looking ahead to next summer now, Imagine Dragons announced as a headliner for Summerfest. The band is scheduled to perform Saturday, July 8th, the last day of the festival. Indie pop band AJR will also be a special guest. Tickets for the show go on sale to the public this Friday, November 18th at 10 a.m. Insider presale tickets go on sale this Thursday. NASA is moving forward with the Artemis 1 moon mission after the rocket was recently plagued with leaks and damage from Hurricane Nicole. NASA says it's now on track for the Artemis 1 mission to launch tomorrow. The first mission is expected to be a 25-day journey to the moon's orbit and back. We've been tracking that snow all morning long. It's still here and it's not going anywhere anytime soon. These heavier bands that we're seeing across southeastern Wisconsin eventually work their way north and westward. That means Madison, steadier snow. It's going to be moving into the picture. It is white out there. Look for snow all day long, even towards 7 o'clock. We'll keep those snowflakes flying. Temperatures are at 31 right now. They are expected to top out right around 35 by lunchtime. That's if we can get enough warming with the falling snow in the cloud cover. It's going to be tough to get there, but we're going to do our best. We keep this alert day in the forecast all day long. All right, Chris Reese, thank you very much. Take a look at this, folks. We're going to leave you with a live look at bumper to bumper traffic on the Beltline due to a crash at Greenway Boulevard. We're going to continue to track this crash and others. A live update in half an hour.